Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Tiguan SE R-Line Black Edition front wheel drive. This particular one is deep black pearl effect on the exterior with Titan black leatherette on the interior. It features keyless entry on two doors, LED running lights, LED turn signals and reverse lights. The front two turn signals are incandescent, but otherwise everything's LED. Silver or chrome ribs for the grill on the top of the hood right here or at the base of the hood where the grill meets and down here at the bottom of the grill. The two ribs in the middle are blacked out. There's a Volkswagen logo in the middle. R-Line air intakes on the sides here. Park distance sensors are front and rear. Black roof rails. Black window surrounds. 19 inch black alloy wheels. R-Line flare on the side here. It goes into that deep bold line down the side into the door handles and into the tail lights. Body colored paint below the detail line here and also on the back bumper. Quad full exhaust tips. Also blacked out on the back here. It says Tiguan beneath the logo right there and SE off to the left. This is a front wheel drive unit. It has no delete, so it has a power lift gate. On the power lift gate though, you can only open it from the driver's seat. You'll have to close it manually using the, or sorry, close it using the button from the back. It's not manual, it's still power, but you have to push the button to close it in the back. It's a quirk of the Volkswagen front wheel drive units. There's a contrast stitch right here on the arm pad. This uh, contra contrast stitching right here, three rib design in a door inset, sil silver tips on the window switches, power mirrors, heated mirrors, and here's that power lift gate. It opens up. Now in an all-wheel drive unit, I'll be able to lift up on this button and hold, and it'll close. I'm holding up, and it doesn't happen on this one. That's the quirk of the front-wheel drive version of the power liftgate Tiguan. So I pushed that button to close it there. We'll get back to that power liftgate in a minute, but let's take a look inside. Stainless steel scuff plate right here. It says R-Line right here. It's also backlit white, so you can see that at night power lumbar here forward back up and down here seat back adjust here a contrast stitch down the side of the bolster here up behind the shoulders a single contrast stitch in the headrest it's manually adjusted with that button right there the arm pad in the middle single contrast stitch on it as well here's a look at the back seats there car seat hookups are on the two outboard seats there the middle seat is a fold down armrest with an adjustable headrest and also a pass through as we climb in Here's a look at the digital cockpit. You've got three main screens here. There's your tachometer screen. And by hitting the view button, I can go to the blended screen and hitting it again, I can go to the speedometer screen. The steering wheel setup is capacitive touch on the steering wheel. Uh, piano black on the buttons there. And then down here at the bottom, splash, splash of piano black at the bottom with an R-Line badge, uh, flat silver uh, on the rest of the spokes of the steering wheel and the Volkswagen logo right there. It's an adjustable steering wheel where I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I want, and set it. Stainless steel pedal caps down below, down there. I'm wearing boring winter socks today. A cold front came through, dropped the temperature by about 25 degrees. So it's not winter. It's still above freezing by a lot, uh, but it feels like winter's coming. So I uh, wore socks accordingly. Automatic headlights right here. You do have a coin box for storage right there. You get that sport grip on the R-Line steering wheel right here. The radio is AM, FM, and satellite with gesture control. Anytime you see that hand right there, you can wave your hand in front of it, and it will actually respond to your hand moving across. The sensor's down at the bottom of the screen here. So you've got that there. You've got 36 presets. AM, FM, and satellite, doesn't matter. You can mix presets between bands, and they all will still show up. You do also get a little storage bin up here. A uh, nice flat dash here, auto dimming mirror right here, and you have a vanity mirror with an LED light above on each side. Oh, there's your warning label right there, and a black headliner. All right, so back to the radio for a second here. It's AM, FM, and satellite. I do also get uh, App Connect, which allows me to do Android Auto, Mirror Link, or Apple CarPlay wirelessly on this car. There's a wireless charger down here as well and a 12 volt charger port right there. Two backlit USB-C connections right here and a backlit shifter there so I can actually see where I, what gear I'm in right there. You do also get 
uh, on the push button start here, electronic e-brake right there, or parking brake. Uh, you just lift up to activate, and then you put your foot on the brake and push down to release. Auto start st stop shut off is right here. And then you also have park distance sensors front and rear. This turns them on and off, and it also activates your rear view camera whenever you're stationary. Uh, and just push that, that's also the shut off for those, those little sensors. Stadium seat style cup holders right here. One's a little taller than the other one. That way you don't have lids battling for supremacy on a ride home from the, the, the drive through Storage bin right here, or a little uh, place for maybe uh, p pins or coins right there. Uh, you're not gonna, really going to put your phone there. It's not going to fit there. Um, but you do also get um, this panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. There's the button right there to open that sunshade up. It slides all the way back. And this is a slider for the panoramic sunroof. That pane of glass stacks on top of that one. It opens all the way up. The glass is tinted. Pop-up windscreen right here. Very nice. That goes all the way back. So I'm going to go ahead and close that sunroof because it's still kind of drizzling outside. Over here in the glove box, there's the manuals right there. Tire warranty below that right there. You have this metallic finish across the front here. That goes into the door panels. This car also comes with ambient lighting. So I'm going to go back to vehicle. We're going to go to settings. Ambient lighting. And ambient lighting. Uh, we're going to do off. And it changes right here. So you got 15 different colors. I'm partial to purple, so I always set it to purple. There's purple right there. And that will actually go across the dash, or actually not in the dash, but it does down here in the phone tray. The highlight colors on the infotainment screen and also the digital cockpit here. And it goes into the door panels up there. Bottle and cup storage down there. And the seats, they're manually adjusted on the passenger side. Right there, there's a loop to slide forward and back. Over on this side, raise and lower the seat in a pumping fashion and that is your seat back adjust right there let's take a look at the back seat this one comes in at 35 226 extras on this one include 346 for the set of monster mats 275 for prepaid maintenance for a third year 1295 for destination bringing you to 35 226 again no deletes on this one if we look at the back the black wheels here back here in the back door inset right here more contrast stitching here and here silver tips on the window switches and here's a look through from the back uh, from the uh, rear door across car seat hookups there car seat hookups here fold down armrest in the middle and this is also a pass-through so you can fold this guy up there's a button on top to fold that down and now you have a pass-through to the back this being front wheel drive will have three rows of seats so these this is the middle row and then here's access to the third row the seats are actually folded down mats are on top i've done enough of these videos where you can actually see the seats there they're going to be like a jump seat you're not going to use those for an adult they're going to be for a child maybe 8 to 12 years old uh not when anyone really older than that there's a look at the leg room i have back here there's a good look at my winter socks pocket right here for storage and here you have vents back here for your rear passengers as well and then two USB-C, I'm sorry, one USB-C connection here and a 12-volt charger port right here. Very nice. There's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof again, right there. Instrument cluster right there and center console and armrest. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. Another look at those wheels right there. Between the G and the U, you just squeeze right there and that pops up. Here's a look through from the back to the front. This is a five seater. And then you have two rows of seats back here, or sorry, not two rows, two seats back here in the back. You have that on either side and make sure when you pull on the seat, you pull on the strap right here. It's not been fed through. This one just got PDI'd, so I'm making a video of it because this doesn't have any deletes. It's probably gonna go very fast. 12 volt charger port right there. You have a bag hook off to the side over here on the right. You have seat pulls. So I can pull this guy right here and that seat's gonna fold down. I can just fold it down flat. And then the same with this side here, pull on this and that seat's gonna fold down flat as well. While I'm back here, I'll pull up on the seat. So you can see that there, There's look over the top there. That is a third row seat. The adjustable headrest is also right here. And this little lever you squeeze and push the seat back down. There's the monster mats right there. 
cargo blocks front license plate there looks like this one has locking lug nuts too they're right there and then you have this half piece for the floor here spare tires underneath jack apparatus is off to the side and there's your power lift gate button this car will come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen and include three years of prepaid maintenance. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, I want to give you an additional three years of included maintenance or free maintenance with this car. So your 40, 50, and 60,000-mile oil changes are also covered. That is a local deal only. That is at my dealership. You'll have to redeem that. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty. Absolutely free. If you're interested in this car or another one like it, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.